Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good Hi, evening, teacher. Hi. How are you? Doing good, thank you. How are you? Fine, fine okay. too. ¿Qué tal de frío? <laughs> Qué calor ha hecho. Te mando. <laughs> sí, yo sé. Tengo el ventilador a la parte. Ok. Bueno, primero, estimados, eh, lamento que hayan tenido que conectarse el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Pero ayer, como les explicaron, tuve un pequeño problema para transportarme. Entonces, estaba... Ya está endeudado, en teacher. Ya está endeudado. Teacher. Ahorita voy a pagar la deuda. No hay problema, teacher. Ok, pero descansaron ayer un poquito de esto también, así que... Aquí vamos ya. Ok. I'm going to call the attendance. Voy a llamar la asistencia, así que si escuchan su nombre, please let me know. Ok, here we go. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Arles Antonio López. Arles Ernesto López, señor. Presente. Thank you. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Presente, teacher. Solo voy a ir de radio escucha porque voy conduciendo. Ok, ok. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Presente, teacher. Thank you very much. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Presente, presente, teacher. Thank you. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Thank you. Cecia, ya vi que me levantó la manito. Thank you. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara. Jose Valentin Rivera López. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María Lourdes Minostava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am Good evening. here. Ok, thank you. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. 
Wilber Mi Rafael. Sí, presente. Ok, thank you. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Ok. Vamos a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado aún por si ya se incorporaron. Edith Consuelo, Represa Toledo. Ever Francis Alvallero. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Presente, teacher. Presente, okay. Mónica. Ok, ok, ok. Thank you. <laughs> Salvador Marrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Ok. Vamos a llamar a los demás a finalizar la clase. Everybody, welcome. Once again, this is Inglés Principiante Módulo 2, and that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. And this is session number 8. Today is June the 2nd of 2023. Okay. Welcome. So, what's today? Today we have to, we have a review of adjectives. And then un repaso de los adjectives. Now, look at this. Remember what we studied. Adjectives describe nouns. ¿Qué son los nouns? Todo lo que existe tiene un nombre. Esos son los nouns. Son los sustantivos. This is a mouse. Mouse is a noun. This is a hand. Hand is a noun. This is a finger. Finger is a noun. Okay? Todas las cosas tienen nombre. Esos son los nouns. Así que tenemos como nouns. They, eyes, church, food, languages, flowers. So what are the adjectives? The adjectives or adjectives are words that describe nouns. Like nice, they. Blue, eyes, etc. In the chat, we have Wilber Rafael. Okay, Wilber, thank you. Attendance taken. So here are some examples. Take a look of adjectiving now. You say, to zoom out, uh, it's a nice day today. Nice is an adjective modifying the day, the, the noun day. Okay, Juan Francisco Arrasabal. Juan Francisco Rosario, ya, ya está su asistencia por acá. Okay, thank you. Uh, the second one, Jessica has brown eyes. Brown is the adjective, eyes is the noun. There is a very old church in this town. Old is the adjective, church is the noun. Do you like Italian food? Italian is the adjective, food is the noun. All nationalities are adjectives. Las nacionalidades son adjetivos también. In the chat, okay, thank you. So, uh, I don't speak any foreign languages. Ver por acá, chat. Ever Alvallero. Nos pone una P. <laughs> Ahí. Okay, P de presente, creo. Okay, tenemos por acá Juan Carlos Portillo Arias también. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Okay, aquí le tomamos asistencia. Muchas gracias. Bienvenidos. Okay, so I don't speak any foreign languages. Foreign means extranjero. Estamos presentes, estamos presentes, teacher. Estamos Thank present. you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so I don't speak any foreign languages. Foreign is the adjective. Languages is the noun. Foreign means extranjero. There are some beautiful yellow flowers in the yard. Beautiful and yellow are adjectives. Flowers is the noun. Okay. So, you have this. Do you like Italian food? Italian is the adjective. Like pizza. So, uh, something else. Zoom out. The adjective is before the noun. In English, the adjective is before the noun. In Spanish, it's usually after the noun. Sometimes before, but usually after. But in English, the adjective is before the noun. 
In the chat, we have Ever, El, Ever, Al Bayero. Quiero ver. Ever, Ever, Ever. ¿Dónde está? No, ya lo vi. Ok, ya, ya está su asistencia tomada. Thank you. Ok. Solo me faltan, quiero ver, Edith Consuelo, Her, Herbert Aristides, José Benjamín Gavidia, Karen Yulisa, Maur, Mauro Orlando, Salvador Manrique, en Santos Mauricio. Ok, ellos me faltan. Los demás ya está su asistencia tomada. Ok. So, you have some examples. The adjective is before the noun. So they live in a modern house. Modern is the adjective, house is the noun. So first adjective, second noun, okay? So um, first the adjective, second noun. You don't say a house modern. Eso sería incorrecto. No podemos decir a house modern. En español sí decimos una casa moderna. Pero en inglés no podemos decirlo así. Primero el adjetivo y luego el sustantivo. So have you met any famous people? Famous is the adjective. People is the noun. No decimos people famous. So the ending of an adjective is always the same, okay? Adjectives don't have a plural form. In Spanish, adjectives normally have a number and also generally they have gender, okay? Normalmente, o sea, siempre tienen, verdad, número y la mayoría de veces tienen género. Pero en inglés no tienen ni número ni tienen género, okay? So you say a different place, different place, one place. Different is the adjective. But then you say different places, many places. But the adjective is the same. No le vayan a poner una S al adjetivo porque no van con número. Okay, siempre van. De la misma forma. The ending of an adjective is always the same. Adjectives don't have a plural form. No decimos difference. Con una, con una S. So, um, also, look, we use the verb be plus an adjective. This is very common. Ocupamos el verb be y seguido va un adjective. For example, the weather is nice today. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. The weather is nice today. Verb be, then adjective. These flowers are very beautiful. Verb be, then the adjective. Are you cold? Verb be, then the adjective. I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Verb be, then the adjective. The movie isn't very good. Verb be, an adjective. It is boring. Verb be, an adjective. Please be quiet. Esto se le conoce como un imperative. Es un imperativo. Cuando ocupamos imperativo, se utiliza el verbo en forma base. Así que la forma base del verb be es be. Please be quiet. Dice, estate callado. Dice, I am reading. Ya tenemos a Herbert Aristides. Herbert, aquí le tomamos asistencia. No se preocupe. Thank you. Okay. He says, I'm hungry. But, uh, hungry is an adjective. This is me right now. <laughs> I am hungry. So, lo mismo sucede con este tipo de verbos, que se conocen como linking verbs. De hecho, el verb be también es un linking verb. Verbos como look, feel, smell, taste, y sound, por lo general van acompañados de un adjective. For example, look at this. They say, you look tired. Te ves cansado. And he says, I feel tired. Me siento cansado. Okay? So, aquí tenemos, look y feel. And the example, you look tired. I feel tired. Después de estos verbos, va un adjective. I am a graphic designer. Hmm. Your job sounds interesting. Suena interesante. Okay, sounds interesting. This food doesn't smell good. Esta comida no huele bien. The soup tastes delicious. Okay. Sopa sabe delicioso. Muy rico, ¿verdad? So, the soup tastes delicious. That's what we did. And we completed this exercise. Put the words in the correct order. You say, they live in a new house. I like this green jacket. Do you like classical music? Elena speaks three foreign languages. And there is a nice Japanese restaurant in the mall. Aquí tenemos nice in Japanese. No sé si se acuerdan el orden de adjetivos. ¿Quién me puede decir? Esto no está en el material que estamos viendo. Sin embargo, es bueno saberlo. ¿Se acuerdan de la palabra clave que les enseñé? Una palabra que no existe, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? María de Lourdes. 
um, o, Odacom. Odascom. <risa> Odascom. No es una palabra real, en realidad. Es un, son siglas. Entonces, ¿qué significa esto? Vamos a ponerlo acá, ¿verdad? O. Das. Com. What is this? It's opinion, dimension, age, shape, shape, color, origin, material. Okay. Examples of opinion adjectives include nice, beautiful, ugly. I've been Okay, ugly, etc. Okay, dimension could be small, big, large, uh, let's see, tiny, which is very small. Examples of age could be new, old, ancient, modern, recent. Okay, those esos son ejemplos de age adjectives. Shape, you can say round, redondo. Okay, square, okay, rectangular, etc. Color, todos los colores son adjectives. Black, white, green, yellow, etc. Origin, you can say Chinese, American, uh, Mexican, etc. And material, you can say wood, uh, silver, gold, leather, etc. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿cómo ponemos los adjetivos? Este es el orden. Solo fíjese cuál va antes de, de cuál. Primero siempre va opinion, luego dimension, luego age, shape, color, origin, and material. Entonces, si decimos, there's a nice Japanese restaurant in the mall, nice corresponde a opinion. Japanese corresponde a origin. Y como opinión va antes de origin, entonces decimos nice Japanese y no Japanese nice. Okay. Ahora, si ustedes dicen, está largo hacer ese análisis cada vez que uno está hablando. Sí, es cierto. Y la verdad es complicado. Pero por lo general es, es difícil que aparezcan más de dos adjectives juntos. Pueden aparecer tres, incluso cuatro, pero eso ya es bien extraño. Es bien, es bien poco común. Así que cuando estén en dudas, acuérdense de este acrónimo. ¿Verdad? De estas siglas. Y luego, pues, ahí van a ver cómo va. Ok. So, next. Your turn. We didn't do this exercise. Este ejercicio no, no lo hicimos. There are adjectives and nouns in the box. Use an adjective and a noun to complete the sentences. En la caja están revueltos unos adjectives y unos nouns. Entonces, usted tiene que tomar un adjective y un noun y ponerlos juntos, que queden lógicos, no ahora cualquiera, ¿verdad? Para completar la oración. Example. Ya tenemos foreign in languages. Do you speak any foreign languages? Okay. Now, number two. Look at those. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to rain. Va a llover. So, what is number two? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Please. ¿Cuál será? Piensen ahí su respuesta. Hmm? Okay, Maria de Lourdes. Not close. A again, please. Look at those clouds. It's going to rain. Okay, but clouds is only the, ad the, the noun. You need an adjective and a noun. For example, foreign languages. Para cada espacio hay que seleccionar dos palabras. Pero está bien, clouds. Esa es una de ellas. Dark clouds. Look at those dark clouds. Correct. It's going to rain. Dark is the adjective. Clouds is the noun. That is correct. Very good. 
permítame, que antes que se me olvide, ya vi que no les pasé la información de los adjectives completas, así que ahorita, bueno, de una vez todo, ok, voy a pasar a la captura de pantalla antes que se me olvide. Esta una, sí, yo, amor. Okay, ahí está. Okay, so uh, look at those dark clouds. It's going to rain. Number three. Uh, thank you, Maria Lourdes. Very good. Susan works very hard and she is very tired. She, uy, tardita. <laughs> she needs, let's, perdón, me fue ahí mal. She needs, say, uy, ya salió, lo siento. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cecia, what's the answer, Cecia? She needs a long vacation. She needs a long vacation. Wink, wink. Okay, good. Yeah, correct answer. <laughs> she needs a long vacation. Very good. Um, dice para acá Karen Julisa. Ella está aquí. Okay. Welcome. Bienvenida. Okay, she needs a long vacation. So long is an adjective. Vacation is a noun. Very good. What about number four? You need... To make tea. Para hacer té. So what do you need? Ever Enrique Gallegos. You need hot water to make tea. That is correct. You need hot water to make tea. Very good. Hot is the adjective. Water is the noun. Very good. Number five. Can I open the window? We need some. What do we need? Puedo abrir la ventana, le dice. We need some. David Antonio Rosales García. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, can you open the window? You need some eye fresh? Okay. But is that the correct order? Your selection is correct. But the order... Is not correct. No, las, pa está. las palabras que ha seleccionado son correctas, pero el orden no. Uh, fresh air. Fresh air, así es, porque uh. fresh es el adjective y air es el noun. Uh -huh. ¿Qué necesitamos? Aire. ¿Qué tipo de aire? Fresco. <ríe> Ahí está el adjective. Fresh air. Very good. Enrique Pérez Lemos, do you want to do number six? I need a blah, blah, blah to cut these onions. Okay, the, the question number six. Number I six. Need, I need a long line to cut this onion. Grammatically correct. Okay, gramaticalmente correcto. Sin embargo, long no es el adjetivo que estamos buscando. Probemos otro. Además, ya ocupamos long, así que no se fue. Charlie. Ajá. I need a... I need a sharp knife. Knife. knife I need a sharp knife, knife to cut these onions. Cut this What's the meaning of sharp? Do you know? What is sharp? ¿Qué significará sharp? Grande. Filo. No. Afilado. O como decimos en El Salvador, filoso. Ok, so, yeah, I need a sharp knife to cut these on. Necesito un cuchillo afilado. Ok, very good. Thank you, Enrique. And the last one, number seven. Firefighting, o sea, ser bombero. Firefighting is a... If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Wilber. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Dangerous job. Firefighting is a dangerous job. That is correct. Okay. Es un trabajo peligroso. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. We completed the exercise. Your turn. Look at this. Um, write sentences for the pictures. Choose from the boxes. 
ahora es un poco más fácil porque híjole permítanme estoy detectando unos errores preocupantes me faltan unas letras ahí ok so look uh, write sentences for the pictures you have to choose from the boxes you have the verb feel or feels acuérdese si es he, she, it tiene que llevar la S look or looks sound or sounds look or looks de nuevo smell or smells taste or tastes and then an adjective for example que le dice ella a él está bien contento el hombre así que you sound happy te escuchas contento Luis. you sound happy what about number two que será ahí Cecia. Is an it new? Ah, uh, pero falta el verbo. It? Car. It a uh, new car. Okay, but let's see, let's see. Veamos, el ejercicio se trata de utilizar uno de los verbos de la primera cajita en conjunto con un adjective de la segunda, como en este caso. Aquí están tachados sound y happy. Ella le dice a él, you sound happy. Te escuchas contento. Así it, que hay que, ajá. It, uh, new, o oh, que luce nuevo, no sé cómo decirlo. Ajá, ajá. ahí look, está el verbo. Look. Ajá, it looks, sería look, look or looks. Look. Look. New. Look new. Look or looks? Look sin S. Sin la S. But Digo remember yo. that we use, we use the S when the subject is he, she, or mm. it. Es so, un looks new. It looks new. Correct. Looks new. Okay. Thank you, Cecia. All right. What about number three? Who knows? Number three, please. Maria de Lourdes. I feel sick. I feel sick. That is correct. She says, I feel sick. Okay. Me siento enfermo. Creo que es una chica. Creo. No sé. Okay. Uh, the next one, please. Number four. Number four, Jose Amilcar. The microphone. Y, you look. Is horrible. Hola, hola. Tal vez no, tal vez no. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you look is okay. You look, but the adjective is not horrible. No. You look is nice. You look nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Se puede insultarlo a darle un cumplido. Okay. Para que no enoje. No, it's a different word. No. It's a different word. Um, Mira cómo se ve el hombre. You... You look está bien, solo hay que elegir un sí. adjective diferente. You look, ya, yeah, gracias, Cecia. <laughs> you look is surprised. You look surprised. 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 That is correct. You look surprised. They said, te ves sorprendido. You look surprised. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Pobre thanks. hombre, le, te, te ve horrible, <laughs> le dije. Uch, la fregada. Demasiada honestidad. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jose Amilcar. Okay, number five. Okay. Who knows the answer? Number five. Who knows? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yo sé que pierde, pero. Uh huh. Number five. Who knows the answer? Raise your hand, please. Easy. Maria de Lourdes. They smell nice. They smell nice. Okay. 
That is correct. Okay, they smell nice. Good, very good. And number six. Karen Julissa. It stays. <laughs> Aquí sí vamos a ocupar lo que el compañero estaba <laughs> usando. Mm -hmm. It stays horrible. Horrible. Okay, yeah. But the question is, do we say taste or tastes? Tastes. Tastes, okay. It tastes horrible. horrible. Okay, it tastes horrible, so sabe horrible. Okay, there you go. Very good. And the last one, okay. Um, the last exercise in this part, and then we continue with the book, with the manual. Your turn. These people don't agree. Estas personas no se ponen de acuerdo. Complete the sentences. Use the negative form of the verb in parentheses. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, como grande. Okay, you have to use the negative form. Example, el primero dice, you look tired. And the other person says, do I? I, in parentheses, you have feel. I don't feel tired. So, te ves cansado, dice, ah, de verdad. No me siento cansado. You have to use the negative form, okay? You have, this is a new jacket. Is it? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Una chaqueta nueva, le dice. Ah, de vera. No se ve nueva. La sacó del, de los usados. Ok, María de Lourdes. Is it? It doesn't look new. Ah, be very no, no, careful. No. Aha, uh -huh, good. Look. It doesn't look new mm -hmm, because in a negative sentence, the verb is in base form. It doesn't look new. Okay, thank you. The next person says, I'm American. Soy estadounidense. I'm American. You say, are you? What about this one? You have to use the verb sound. Ahora hay que ocupar el verbo sound. Vamos, anímense. Si no le sale bien, vamos a llegar a la respuesta correcta juntos. No se preocupe. Enrique, and then Wilbur. I am America. Are you? You found true? Uh, pero veamos. Acuérdense que no está de acuerdo. Por ejemplo, en la primera le dice, you look tired. Y el otro dice, do I? I don't feel tired. Hay que ocupar el verbo en paréntesis más el adjective que se menciona en el primer comentario. This is a new jacket. Is it? It doesn't look new. Ah, I am yeah. American. Are you? You? Are you? Eh, does so. Or doesn't so. Uh, but doesn't es para he, she, it. Para you, ah, pues, utilizamos don't. Don't. Do. Or don't. 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 Para don't. ser el negativo. You don't. You don't sound. You don't sound. So, no. So, La última don't. palabra falta. You don't sound. <laughs> que le American. Dice American. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Are you? You don't sound American. No te escuchas como estadounidense, el acento. Parece, pero no es. No es, dice, no te escuchas así, dice. Ok, thank you, Enrique. Wilber. Hi, teacher. You look cold. I do feel? Ah, negative, remember, en negativo. You look cold. Really? I don't mm -hmm. feel. I don't feel. Um, look cool or cool or algo. Solo una palabra. I don't feel. Uh, cool. Cold. Okay. Really? I don't feel cold. I don't feel cold. Okay. Thank you. The next one. 
Raise your hand if you know, please. ¿Quién nos ayuda acá? Cecia, these bags are heavy. Are they? They aren't look heavy. Mm -mm, careful. We cannot use aren't. Uh, they doesn't that. look heavy. Okay, doesn't is for he, she, it. They they don't uh -huh. look heavy. They don't look heavy. Okay. Una tenía que ser. Uh -huh. La tercera la vencí. Okay, they don't look heavy. That's correct. Okay. Siempre recuerden en present simple para hacer el negativo con I, we, you, perdón, con yeah, sí, con I, we, you and they van a ocupar don't. Con he, she, it van a ocupar doesn't. ¿Verdad? I, you, we, they, use, don't. He, she, and it, you use, doesn't. Okay? That's the rule. Okay. And the last one. That soup looks good. Esa sopa se mira buena, le dice. Maria Magdalena. Maybe, but it doesn't. That's good. <laughs> okay, it doesn't. It doesn't. Does. ¿Cómo ah, se pronuncia ah, eso, ah, profe? Taste. Ah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. Maybe, but it doesn't taste good. Esa sopa se mira... Se mira rica, le dice. Sí, tal vez le dice, pero no sabe rica. <laughs> Solo se ve. Okay. It doesn't taste good. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. This is the knowledge check 3.10. Take a look. Instructions. Write each sentence a different way. Follow the example. No period at the end of your sentence needed. Escriba cada oración de las diferentes maneras posibles. Sigue el ejemplo. No necesita colocar el punto final a su oración. Ya todo está colocado. Example, a doctor's job is interesting. O usted puede decir, a doctor has an interesting job. Ahora, aquí... Quiero ver, quiero ver. Vamos, say each sentence a different way. Es el mismo ejercicio que aparece en la plataforma. A doctor's job is interesting. O usted puede decir, a doctor has an interesting job. ¿Qué estamos viendo acá? En la primera oración aparece el adjective después del verb be. Es algo que hemos estudiado. Y en la segunda oración aparece el adjective antes del now. Que son las dos cosas que hemos visto, ¿verdad? A doctor's job is interesting. O usted dice, a doctor has an interesting job. What about number two? Es, siga exactamente el mismo ejemplo. Así, así, de esa forma tiene que irlo resolviendo. A police officer's job is dangerous. Será. Karen Julisa. A police officer officer has dangerous job. A police officer has dangerous job. Mm -hmm. Bueno, ustedes sabrán, pero está en el rubro. Okay, so a police officer has a dangerous job. Okay, number three. A teacher's job is stressful. Alguien me levantó la mano, creo que era Wilbur. No, Cecia. Okay, vamos. A teacher's job is stressful. A teacher's job is a stressful. A teacher is a stressful job. A teacher is... Or... A, a teacher a teacher has a stressful job a teacher has a stressful job okay yeah a teacher has a stressful job Doy fe. <laughs> okay thank you very good uh number four a plumber's job is boring no me gusta mucho este ejercicio porque Aparecen cosas como este que dice, plumber's job is boring. El trabajo de un plumero, dice, es aburrido. Pero bueno, eso es como, depende de la opinión. Si le gusta, no es aburrido. 
Suena feo, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, así aparece, así que así hay que resolverlo. A plumber's job is boring. ¿Qué será acá? Mm -hmm. You can tell me. Cecia. A plumber has a boring job. Plumber has a boring job. Okay. It's an opinion. Una opinión únicamente. Okay, thank you. That is correct. Number five. An electrician's job is difficult. Jose Amilcar. An, an electrician has a difficult job. An electrician has a difficult job. Yeah, that is correct. Thank you, Jose Amilcar. And the last one. A vendor's job is easy. Okay, I'm not seeing the classic. Monica Yvette. Six, teacher. Number six, yes. Okay. A vendor has a, a job is easy. Mm. A, ven, a, vendor, a vendor has a, a, a job is easy. <laughs> A job is easy. Mm, not exactly. Not exactly. Veamos. ¿Cómo van todas las demás? Decimos. Interesting job. Dangerous job. Stressful job. Boring job. Difficult job. ¿Cómo nos queda la última entonces? Mm -hmm. Who can help me? El orden de las palabras es ahí la clave. O sea, Milcar. El, el micrófono. A vendor has an easy job. A vendor has an easy job. Ok, dice aquí, ¿verdad? A vendor has an easy job. Ok, cool. So, um, there's an exercise here, but I don't think we're going to do it because we don't have much time. Se nos está acabando el tiempo. Así que vamos directo a esto. Okay, by the end of this class, you will develop prediction and inf <clears throat> inferencing skills after reading and discussing uh, an article on job profiles. Al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades de predicción e inferencia después de leer y discutir un artículo sobre perfiles de trabajo. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Okay. Actress, dog walker, video game tester, and teacher. Estos son trabajos, ¿verdad? Actriz, eh, paseador de perro, ¿verdad? El que prueba los videojuegos y el maestro. So, there's the actress. No tenemos mucho tiempo. Tenemos todavía que resolver el, el, el midterm. Ya tendrían que resolverlo todos. Pero igual, eh, tenemos que ver eso. Así que por el tiempo voy a leerlo yo. Veamos. Actress, Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she is really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she is tired a lot, but she is following her dream. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Tienen preguntas acerca del vocabulario? Una palabra ahí que no esté clara, que no sepan el significado. Eh. Herbert, Herbert Enrique, Cecia. El eh, Herschudelo. You mean schedule. Eso, schedule. Schedule means horario. Her schedule is difficult. Mm -hmm. Ok, Herbert Enrique. La misma que se hacía. Ah, schedule, horario. Herbert. For, following. Following. Follow following. means seguir. seguir. She is following, following her dream. Está siguiendo sus sueños. Following. Present continuous, sí. que, que vimos en el eh, principiante 1, ¿verdad? She is following her dream. Está siguiendo sus sueños. Ok. Second one. Dog walker. ¿Verdad? Paseador de. Perros. Becky Peak walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine.
Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? ¿Alguna duda acerca del vocabulario en esta parte? Dog Walker. Herbert. Uh, Sometimes. Sometimes means a veces. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. María Thank de Lourdes, you. you're welcome. Uh, Chai, you're muted. Ah, shine es brillar. Pero esto, rain and shine, es una, es una expresión. Ajá, es una expresión que significa por lo general que no importa las circunstancias. Aunque en este caso es bien literal. Dice rain or shine, o sea, sin importar cómo esté el tiempo, que esté lloviendo, que el sol esté brillando. Rain or shine. Podría ser como la expresión nuestra en español de que llueva, truene o relampaguee. O relampaguee, ajá, así. algo así, un equivalente a eso. Rain or shine sería que llueva o esté brillando el sol. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Next one. Video game tester. Este está chivo. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Okay, Wilber, and then Maria Magdalena. Wilber. Wilber? Sí, ahí donde dice uh, love of stinger, things negro, ¿cómo es? Ah, lots of teenagers. Lots of es muchos. Teenagers, adolescentes. Muchos adolescentes quieren el trabajo de John Blue. So, lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. María Magdalena and then Cecia. Era la misma, pero también tengo esa Ar Jones, almost, always. Almost. Almost means casi. Almost always oh. wins. John, cas John casi siempre gana. Almost always wins. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Cecia. Ya la descubrí. Ah, vaya. <laughs> Okay, good. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No? Okay. And the last one, the teacher. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? David Antonio and then Cecia. Okay, David. He's a busy man. Busy man. Busy means ocupado. Busy. Cecia? Great. Great homework. Califica tareas. Great is calificar. Great is nota también y como verbo calificar. He grades homework. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra duda? Pregunta? No. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's continue. So, who says these things? ¿Quién dice esto? Sus opciones son Lisa Parker. Bessie Peak, Becky Peak, I'm sorry, John Blue, and Carlos Ruiz. After I win, I take a break. Who says that? ¿Quién diría eso? Baudilio. John Blue. John Blue. Let's see. That is correct. Good. Number two. I don't usually work in the summer. 
María de Lourdes. And the microphone, please. Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. Okay, yeah, that's right. Porque en Estados Unidos tienen eso que llaman summer break. Okay, que no tenemos nosotros acá. Okay, uh, Karen Julissa, number three. The restaurants close. The restaurant closes late, around 2 a.m. Karen Julissa. Karen Julissa. No. Adán Iglesias, number three. The restaurant closes late. Lisa around... Parker. Okay, uh, Lisa Parker. Okay, yeah. That's Lisa right. Parker. Okay, oh. thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, Adán Iglesias, number four. After work, my feet and arms are tired. Who says that? Be Becky Peck. Becky Peck. Okay, Becky ah, no, Peck is, no, perdón, eso es Peck, tiene razón. Yo estaba Becky leyendo Peck. Peck. Es que esta calidad de. La imagen right, está algo fea. Sí, Becky Peck sería. Yo Peck okay. estaba leyendo. Confundí la E con una, la C con una E. Becky Peck, that's correct. Okay, good. Very good. And uh, that will be the last part, 3.12. Y luego está Knowledge Check, que sería el mismo que está acá, este mismo ejercicio. And with that, we finish. Con eso terminamos la sección. And now... Permítanme. Hmm. Creo que aquí cometí un pequeño error. Esto tiene que ir acá. Relaciones. Ok. Esta diapositiva se me fue de más. No debe existir. Hoy sí. Ok. Take a look, everybody. This is the midterm. Este es el midterm, el examen. Listening part. I'm going to play the listening section and you tell me the answer. So listen to the conversation and select the correct answer to complete each sentence. Es lo mismo que ya tendrían que haber resuelto. So there are blah, 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 bedrooms, number two. There are some chairs in the, and Julia needs A for the kitchen. So let's listen and tell me. One. Uy, permítame, el dispositivo de reproducción no está correcto aquí. Tendría que ser este. Ok. Really love our new house, Dan. Can you hear that? ¿Pueden escuchar? Yes. Ok, great. From the beginning. Ok, yes. from, from the beginning. Here we go. Yes. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house. But I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Okay, number one. There are... Rodilio. Three. Three bedrooms, correct. Number two. Adan, there are some chairs in day. Microphone. Living room. In the living room. That's correct. Uh, Very good. Thank you. Number three. Julia needs a... What does she need? Raise your hand if you know the answer, please. Maria Magdalena. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Okay, good. Okay. Part B. Complete the conversations. Instructions. Letra de hormiga, pero bueno. Complete the conversations, use the simple present of the verbs, select the option that contains the word or words to complete the question, and answer. What about the first one? ¿Cómo sería? Tiene que leerme la oración completa. 
to your apartment. Who's speaking? Maria Magdalena. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do <Maria>. your... <laughs> uh -huh. Do your apparent building have an ele elevator? Elevator. Elevator? Um, no, sorry. It's a different one. Don't sorry. have. Uh, Maria de Lourdes, let's see. Does, does, does. your apartment building have uh, an elevator? Huh. Does your apartment building have an elevator? ¿Por qué does? Porque your apartment building es una cosa, es decir, it. José Amilcar, B. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, very good. Thank you. Conversation two. Volunteer, please. Adán Iglesias. Well, let's check. Number three. Uh, sorry, it's not number three. It's uh, conversation two. Here, letter A. Do the bedroom have closets? Do the bedrooms have closets? That's correct. Very good. And B, okay. who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Vamos, vamos, amigos. Ok. Wilber, and then José Amilcar, and then Karen Julissa. Bueno, tengan la manita levantada para que no se me olvide quién va. Ya la bajaron, miren. Ok, Wilber. No, they don't. No, they don't. Ok, that's right. No, they don't. Ok. Vamos. No se lo piensen tanto, solo terminamos esto y termina la, sec la sesión, la sección, ¿verdad? Aquí, la sección y la sesión, en las dos cosas. Ok, uh, unscramble the sentences, ok, unscramble the sentences, write each sentence in the correct order. Decifra las oraciones, escriba cada oración en el orden correcto. Number one, Karen Julissa. Hola, man. Ok, José Amilcar and then María Magdalena. José Amilcar. Um, there isn't mm -hmm. a mirror in the bedroom. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Correct. Very good. Maria Magdalena, number two. There are not pictures in the hall. There are no pictures in the hall. Correct. Very good. And number three. Who has number three? Me ayuda con la tres. Vamos. María Magdalena. Well, le quedó la manita levantada, no sé. There. Ajá, uh -huh. no, no sé. Ok. Do you want to answer? Uh, there, there are. Ajá. Uh -huh. Annie. Any cortings? Any cortings? In the dining room? Dining room? That's correct. There aren't any curtains in the dining room. Okay, Adán Iglesias va para el siguiente. Okay, Adán Iglesias, select the correct words. Eche, te una pregunta. Ah, dígame. En la anterior. Ah, Enrique, okay. Yo lo, lo contesté, pero uh, después de ciertas repeticiones que no había acertado, el programa me llamó, me aceptó correcciones. Ah, ya no le aceptó. No. De verdad. Sí. Qué extraño, Ahí. porque yo, yo tengo entendido que sí, que, que... Bueno, pero tal vez porque se trata del midterm. Tal ya no le aceptó uh -huh. Voy a consultar eso, porque a lo mejor el midterm tiene un, un, un límite de, de, de intentos. De intentos. Ajá, pero no, no, no que yo sepa. Así que voy a, voy a consultar eso. Ok, thank you for, for telling me. Ok, um, José Amilcar and then María de Lourdes. Ok, José Amilcar, number one. 
Solo tengo, perdón, ah. solo tengo una observación en cuanto a lo que dijo el compañero sí, José Miguel. Uh -huh. este, yo puse la misma respuesta del anterior, del ejercicio anterior, la número tres, exactamente sí, como está escrita aquí en la solución, y me la toma como, o sea, como mala. Uh -huh. Y bueno, la dejé así porque no sabía cómo escribirla, pues porque yo estaba uh -huh. segura que de esa manera era lo correcto. Uh -huh pero no sé si es un problema de, 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 de sistema o, o qué. Probablemente. Um, algo que tenemos que ver es, podría ser, no, no estoy diciendo que sea eso precisamente, pero podría ser el uso del apóstrofe. Que si digamos, aparece, dice, there, well, there aren't, ¿verdad? Y si en lugar de poner un apóstrofe ponemos una... Una tilde, por ejemplo, eso ya lo tomaría como incorrecto. A veces son detallitos así. No estoy diciendo que eso sea posiblemente un errorcito así o una verdad letra que no esté bien puesta o a veces que dejamos un espacio antes o a veces que dejamos un espacio después. Y si no concuerda 100% con, la, con, con digamos una lista de posibles respuestas que ya están programadas, entonces ahí no sale el problema. Entonces se me ocurre que a lo mejor puede hacer esta, ¿verdad? A veces por poner un apóstrofe ponemos una tilde. Acuérdense que el apóstrofe está, por lo menos en el teclado, en distribución en español, está a la derecha de la tecla cero, que está arriba, ¿verdad? Entonces tal vez, tal vez sea eso, pero solo estoy especulando. Ok. Uh, let's continue. Ok, so, José Amilcar, let's see. A nurse, pilot, or salesperson works in a hospital. Nurse. A nurse works in a hospital. Good. Maria Magdalena, a cook, receptionist, or singer talks to people at a hotel. Maria Magdalena? Receptionist. Res receptionist yes it's a receptionist okay thank you adan iglesias a judge a musician or a police officer sits all day uh, judge. a judge a okay. judge okay okay bueno no creo que pase sentado todo el día un juez pero bueno un estereotipo de juez nomás okay thank you Next, okay, select questions to complete the conversations. Uy, no faltan varios ejercicios. Metámosle, Turo, que ya, ya son las ocho. So, select questions to complete the conversations. Uh, what about number one? The answer is, I work at the restaurant. ¿Cuál será? Okay, Wilber y luego Adán. Wilber. Where do you work? Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. Correct. Number two, Adan. The answer is he's a firefighter. What does, does he do? What does he do? Correct. Very good. Maria, uh, Maria de Lourdes. Okay. They hate their jobs. How do they like their jobs? How do they like their jobs? Correct. Okay. Exercise F. Complete the conversations. Son conversaciones, ¿verdad? Así que lo que diga eh, B a veces afecta lo que usted va a elegir en letter A. Ok, a singer. Ok, what about the first one? Perdón que se vea tan chiquito, pero no cabe todo en la diapositiva. So, a singer. We have the chat here. Ok, Herbert se despide. Ok, thank you. Adán Iglesias. El micrófono, Adán. Has, a exciting. has an exciting. Ok, a singer exciting. has an exciting job. Ok, and uh, Maria Lourdes, I disagree. I an think. Exciting job. An exciting job. Okay, Maria Lourdes, I disagree. I think a singer's job is not boring. It's not boring. De hecho, sería is boring porque dice I disagree, que es no estoy de acuerdo. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. it's, boring. It's, it's boring. Okay, it's okay. Conversation two. A flight attendant. 
You know the answer, please tell me. Tenga la respuesta, por favor, la comparte. Vamos, Adán. As a stressful. Has a stressful job. That is correct. Okay. Has a stressful job. Nos ayuda con la siguiente también. I agree. It. Mm. I agree. It is stressful. Okay. Very good. And the last one. Conversation uh, three. Okay. Who can help us with this one? Es la última. Ever Enrique. A cashier's job is easy. A cashier's job is easy. Uh -huh. And the next one, I disagree. A cashier. Has a difficult job has a difficult job, okay? A cashier has a difficult job. And with that, we finish, okay? Solo tomo asistencia aquí rapidín. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo, está por acá? Presente, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara, are you here? Presente, teacher. Thank you. Mauro Orlando Vasquez Segura, are you here? Mauro Orland, Orlando Vázquez Segura, no, ok. Um, Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Hernández, no. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos, no. Ok. All right. Ok, thank you very much. That's it, we finished. El lunes seguimos con la sección 4, ok, y bueno, ahí vamos. Solo nos quedan dos semanas más, sección 4 y luego sección 5 y el final test. Me, Every... me registró la asistencia, teacher. José Amilcar. El... Sí. Sí, ahí está. Ah, ahí está. Okay. Ahí está registrado. No escuché hoy por último que mencionar. Ah, lo que pasa es que al final solo menciono a aquellos que no me han contestado que están presentes. <risa> para <risa> okay, no repetir teacher, la lista thanks. entera. Uh -huh. Good night, teacher. Good, Good night. night. See you. Have a great weekend. Weekend, wait. Good. <risa>